Everyone, let's go. Air. And sun. How lovely it is here. of plants here. Brightly colored fruits. Vegetables. Trees. How beautiful they all are. Let us now have a closer look at the members of the world. Let us learn how they reproduce and see what techniques they use. You all know that even giant trees grow from a tiny little seed. You know where these tiny seeds come from. I was once just a tiny seed too. I am really curious to learn just how I came into being. In order for the seed to form, the female cell inside plant has to combine with a male reproductive cell from another plant, in other words, pollen. How do they manage that? Plants can't move. You are right, plants cannot move, but God has created various ways by which pollen from one plant can reach another. A lot of pollen is carried by the wind. These tiny grains cause a lot of people to suffer allergic reactions in the spring. Uh, chew. I get this every spring. A grain of pollen starts turning into a seed when it reaches that part of another plant containing the egg cell. Some plants use special carriers to send their pollen to other plants. The most common of these are insects. Flowers produce food that insects like and attract them with their bright colors and perfumes. That means they are able to pass on their pollens to them. They then carry those pollens to other plants. The heart is different. Have a close look at. Here is the flower which grows in southern Africa is known as the iris. It is difficult for carrier insects to reach the food and pollens made by this attractive flower. But look, there is a long tube under its leaves. The food and pollens are all at the bottom of this tube. The insect that will carry the pollens also needs a long tube to reach them. It is like us using a straw to drink from the bottom of a tall bottle. Sex 
this plant's pollen? A hoverfly. long tube or proboscis, it can reach right into the depths of the flower. And it can hover in the air like a helicopter. Special signs are used to enable a helicopter to make a safe Do you wonder if the hoverfly has anything similar? Let us have a closer look now at the white arrows on the surface of the flower. They are all pointing to a single spot and showing the hoverfly which way to go. The hoverfly is thus able to make a successful landing at exactly the right spot. Unconscious part of an unconscious. It has eyes, ears, hands, or brain. Yet it has signs on it telling the insect which way to go. The flower itself is even unaware of these. As for the insect, it has no consciousness or intelligence either. Yet it possesses all the special features it needs to reach the pollen. It is Almighty God who creates the flower and the insect to be compatible with one another. God knows what characteristics every living thing needs and gives them the most appropriate ones. God reveals this in our holy book, the Quran. Everyone in the heavens and the earth belongs to him. All are submissive to him. Flowers that give off perfumes. Some plants use a quite interesting technique to attract insects. They offer them perfume. This orchid that lives in South America produces a special perfume in its leaves. The customers for this scent are male bees. Human beings use perfume smell nice too. Ooh, that smells so good. Bees want to smell nice, just like humans do. When a bee arrives to take perfume from the orchid, the flower also gives the visitor its pollens. Develop the first helicopter in Thank you. He travels long distances. that the tree is able to have its own come about by could come about as the result of their speed and the aircraft to carry them. In one of the quotes, God tells us, Your deity is going to
and the fire of their speed. Dispersing their deeds. This is a squirting cucumber. To a special. And when the time comes, Himalayan balsam. This is a mountain. What is touch triggers the firing system? The force applied is quite strong. It speed five meters or some six. Feet. Friends, some plants use water to destroy their seeds. So seeds are able to winter. This plant is the seed. These are some of the best able to drink water. Water is mean they can separate from one another and travel in different for now what is about a longer look the river or it will Act as both a raft and a prison. that would ears. The fight the difficult conditions in the ocean. Damage. Well, will. Eventually, it reaches dry land, where you would fly. Again, put it away from the parent. Plan that my friend. Do you know what the hardest thing in the world are? And of course, and of the village I could call. Plan some kind of industrial in it. And use them to carry their. In return, they give hands a war. Their seeds have a fleshy covering which provides food for animals. How? Have a look. To where the perfume is is very slippery. The bees shouldn't get and slip.
struggle to free itself, it makes contact with a yellow pollen. The female cells. Seed will allow the plant to have offspring of its own. The creative artistry of God. Almighty God, the Creator, in the Quran about the creation of the seed. Have you thought about? Is it you who may germinate, or are we germinating? If we wished, we could have made it broken double. Flying seeds. You are looking at the thread flying through the air. There are some hundred seeds under every white puff. Seeds have a special system enabling them to fly. Look how pretty they are flying about. A parachute. It is so effective that seeds can float in even the very light. The helicopter you are watching need. It's just right to the length and shape of the wing. The system, too, works just like a parachute. Intelligent, educated human beings who design parachutes. Parachutes so much more efficient than those made by human beings are used by them. And they are all plan. They have no intelligence or consciousness, but to God, they have perfect parents for the seeds. Come on, let's go to the sun rainforest. Oh, it's really hot here, and there are no bees. Really hard for seeds to fly here. It's very difficult for seed to fly in such hot and windless air. They use perfect wings to send their seeds to other places. Seed is what beneath the wind you are looking at. Can carry for long distances on even a lot of dream. But the seed is a long way it originally belonged
Some trees use helicopters to get their supply. Look, look! Thanks to those things through the air. Blink a little bit smaller. See, it fall to the ground. But in fact, it is just the right size. And the weight of this have more blades, and the system is exactly the same as that used by human beings. The American horse, if the seeds are left out in the open, then birds or other creatures will eat them. So they need to go underground as soon as possible if they are to survive and grow. Ants are carrying the seeds underground into their nest. They eat the food around the seeds, but don't touch the seeds themselves. So the seed makes its home underground where it can grow in safety. Fruit trees use a similar technique. They use human beings and animals to carry their seeds. When the seed ripens, the fleshy pulp around it changes color, becoming sweet and delicious. It literally invites human beings and animals to break it off. Birds cannot resist these fruits and eat plenty of them. Let's think again now. Plants use soil, water, and the sun to produce delicious fruits for us. They make healthy foods as if they knew what human beings and animals need. What is more, they produce these fruits in such a way that dispersion of their seeds. Don't forget, trees consist of wood, roots, and leaves. They have yet they delicious and nutritious foods for us and animals. It is Almighty God who created us and all other things, who also enables trees to make fruits in this way. God calls on us in a verse from the Quran. It is He who sends down water from the sky, from which we bring forth growth of every kind, and from that we bring forth the green shoots, and from them we bring forth close-packed seeds, and from the spathes of the date palm, date clusters hanging down, and gardens of grapes and olives and pomegranates, both similar and dissimilar. Look at their fruits as they bear fruit and ripen. There are signs in that for people who believe.
conclusion. In this film, we have been looking at seeds and pollens, which are a miracle that most people are not even aware of. Flowers that guide insects. Insects that have been specially created. Orchids that provide bees with perfume. Seeds that use parachutes, just like engineers and seeds able to withstand journeys in water lasting thousands of kilometers. I've seen the interesting techniques that plants use to make other creatures carry their seeds for them. We have seen that these systems in plants are too perfect to have come into existence by chance. It is Almighty God, the All-Knowing, who regulates all of this. It is He who knows and places other means at their service. God calls to us on this subject. God is He who splits the seed and kernel. He brings forth the living from the dead and produces the dead out of the living. That is God.